week we're talking about my neighborhood. And does anyone remember what neighborhood or city that we all live in? Chicago. So we're gonna do a fun art project with all the buildings in Chicago. So when we look from a distance, we call that the skyline. So we're gonna call this skyline art. So I made two different versions of this art project and I'll show you both of them now. So here's one with green, blue, and purple paint. And here's another one with red, orange, and yellow paint. So I made this two different ways. One way was I printed out a picture of the Chicago skyline and I cut it out. It got a little crinkly when I painted over it. But once I cut out all the buildings, the best that I could, I taped it onto this paper like this but all of the rectangles should stay back. Um, and then I used a paintbrush, or you could use a sponge, and I painted around the paper. And then what I did is I took off the skyline and I got this piece of art. So with the other piece, this one, I decided to make my own skyline. So I drew a few different rectangles and a circle at the end because in this one, we have the Navy Pier Ferris wheel. I don't know if friends have been there before, but that's what it is in the skyline. So I did a round circle at the end of this one, but I did a bunch of buildings, some with antennas at the top, and I made some small and some the same length. So you can make your own or you can print out and tape it on. But either way, you can tape it onto paper and use a paintbrush or a sponge to go over it. So I think that I'll do one more for my friends here now. And I can show you how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and tape the picture that I cut out and prints of the Chicago skyline so that you can see. And I'm just taping it onto my paper so that when I use my paint, it won't get all over the place because it won't move. And let's see. I'll do that part and a few more pieces of tape so I'm using tape right now some other things that you're gonna need are scissors to cut out a picture of the skyline either that you can look at or you can cut out paint some paint brushes and a sponge if you want to use a sponge so for me it's a little bit easier if I just use my paintbrush but again if you have a sponge at home this would be really fun to do the art project with so I'm gonna take my paintbrush and I'm just gonna go over all of the buildings with So I'm gonna pull out my paint so I'm ready to go. And make sure you get the top part of the buildings and the bottom part. So that all parts are accounted for. And I'm still gonna keep painting all around. I'm doing the tallest one right now. This one has two antennas at the top of it. And come over here to another tall building. And I'm almost 
almost done. Oops. Gotta hold it down. And I'm coming to the Ferris wheel as the last part. Okay, I think that's the best I can do. So, I'm going to pull it off now and you can see what it looks like. It might be hard to get the picture off if it's really soft, the paper sometimes, when you get a lot of paint on it. So this one's a little soft. I'm just gonna let it go. And then I'm gonna pull my tape off so that you can see. And maybe you can try this at home. As always, once we use paint, we gotta let it sit out to dry. So I just wanna show you quickly and then I'm gonna put mine on a drying rack so it can dry. But I got the skyline. Hope you can do this at home, friends.